I don't know what it was. He's walking upright like a man. Sightings in and around Vermont. Bigfoot sightings across New England have been reported. Red glowing eyes, about seven feet tall. Red eyes, big old fang claws coming out through. Three inches long, you know, just sharp as they could be. There has been another UFO sighting flying over the Royal Botanic Gardens. There are 500 UFO sightings in the world every month. The truth is out there. I've been I've been resting this week because I took time off, and it turns out John's not very good at relaxing. <laughs> relaxing can be pretty stressful, right? <laughs> it's the, it's 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 actually difficult. <laughs> Well, I think it's actually difficult for you, you and I. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually difficult for every human being on the planet. In fact, I think some human beings on the planet are, are in fact, pretty good at relaxing. Uh, I don't think so. Like, because even if I have, like, take a full week off work or whatever, by the end of it, I'm just like, oh, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> well, you say that, but uh, what's his name is a thing. Um what is it? Uh, James William Buffett, I believe, is his, oh, his name. Ah, yes. Yeah. So, like, I mean, he's on island time, like, 24-7. Yeah, that seems like the worst. <laughs> so this, this this gives you a bit of insight into uh, your character. Yeah. yeah. If you think that, 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 that uh, Jimmy Buffett is living the worst life ever when he can write a song called, uh, what is it? cheeseburger in paradise <laughs> i was unaware of that <laughs> you were unaware of it yeah i am legitimately amazed you're unaware yeah. of it let me find yeah. it real quick i uh yeah so we've i've got a, a long weekend well this is the long week. i've got like a four-day weekend or whatever so to prepare for the weekend i set up a schedule to like of specific tasks i had to get done before the long weekend so i could accomplish other chores more efficiently during the long weekend. <laughs> I hate that that's a thing, but I get it. Yeah. I do get it. I'm not going to lie. I get it. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, um, the, the, uh, basically what happened for me was I realized that I had Friday off this Monday. Yeah. Because I, I also, I actually, I realized I had Friday and Monday off. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we're doing this. So, because of the way we release our schedules, this was last weekend? Either no. last weekend or two weekends ago. <laughs> it's something like that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I realized this, and because I am uh, exhausted, which I think is the correct word, <laughs> um, I, uh, I decided to take uh, Wednesday and Thursday off because taking Tuesday off, too, I would have felt too guilty. <laughs> oh man i took tuesday off <laughs> you did yeah oh man I, I uh but but where the story was going is i went to ikea on okay. wednesday yeah and i bought shelves in the new desk for my work environment which unfortunately i'm not using right now i saw but, that the yeah. uh they, they look dope where are they because I, I was i was expecting to see like you know where my computer you used to be yes right there okay i just moved it against the wall okay so now there's room for activities <laughs> um but the the long and short of what, where i was going with that was after i finished working on it mm -hmm. i felt like i had nothing to do so i just kind of died yeah <laughs> that's that's exactly right as soon as you accomplish as soon as we you complete doing a thing, if there is mm -hmm. not another thing that will require effort queued up immediately after it, it's that's just when I curl up into a ball. <laughs> yeah, it's a real it's a real problem. I talked to my psych psychologist about it, and he was like, "I think we need to assign uh, relaxation time to you as homework." <laughs> oh, I which actually might make me be able to do it. Anywho, oh. sorry. Oh, no, 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 I, I relax um, typically for, for about 
um, uh, like 30 minutes a day, maybe 45 mm-hmm. minutes. Cause I'll, and that happens immediately after I get home from work. Uh, mm-hmm. Feed the cats, Now I'll sit down and watch and something it, oh, I lost you. on YouTube. And, and then I'm done. Whoop. Uh, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, we're here. Okay, okay. I didn't catch literally anything you just said. Oh, yeah. We, we Our connection dropped for a minute. The, uh, yeah. Just watch a YouTube video for like a bit, and then I can start doing things again. <laughs> I've been watching too much Good Mythical Morning. It's a little upsetting. Have you? I mean, it's a good yeah. show. It will... will whatchamacallit I, while i was watching it i think uh i forget which one i was but lissa said that you and i kind of mimic their behaviors sometimes <laughs> um i th- think i was link and you were rat okay so <laughs> I, but I mean that makes it. sense it let's, makes sense let's get this to be together yeah <laughs> can't believe they did that (laughs) also that that ties into what you were saying uh on on twitter this yesterday yeah i'm assuming you 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 taste if i read the thread right you were taste testing uh a a sampler pack from i'm I'm gonna guess hannaford uh yeah yeah from hannaford i was doing some quality assurance Mm -hmm. on a variety pack of beer that i I, uh picked up (laughs) yeah i I, I, I know when you're doing quality assurance on beer, Brandon. Yeah. I'm pretty good at picking it out. So there's just a stream of unassociated thoughts going into Twitter. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, when you message me when you, you're taste testing or quality assurancing something, yeah, it usually is you talking about some random ass uh, mill spec or something like that. Yeah. And like uh-huh. why it's a problem or why it's great. Yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. The um, the, and I'm not saying I hate that. Yeah. I'm just saying <laughs> I know what's happening. Yeah, <laughs> that and I work for a place where like all the names of things are similar to each other. Where like there's other places like Sikorsky has the CH53K, um, mm-hmm. uh, which is like the uh, CRH um, Blackhawk uh, rescue helicopter type of deal. But they call mm-hmm. that the King Stallion. And I thought that what that they just have the coolest naming conventions for things. Uh, it's pretty good. Just everything, even like all their heavy lift stuff and all that. And I, so I, 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 um, I decided in a meeting that we should call uh, something I'm working on the Thunder Badger. And uh, people laughed. They thought it was uh, pretty good, but they uh, forgot that I am the administrator for the uh, you know pen like prototype projects database type of thing so i i can oh, no. that so uh guess who's laughing now <laughs> i assume everyone because it's pretty fucking funny yeah <laughs> yeah man. Like, i'm not gonna lie yeah no no people have should... to ask me how thunder badger's going <laughs> so if uh if you have the ability to do this brandon yeah you should uh photoshop a picture of chunt the badger from uh from uh magic tavern yeah and uh put him in a uh thor costume that would be fantastic <laughs> and there you go you got thunder badger or i'll get a, a picture of uh what's his name tom hiddleston or whatever in the thor thing <laughs> like take that picture and then crop out um uh the, i forget the guy who plays chunt um, but during a live uh, show, Adel Rafai. yeah, Adel Rafai in a, in a badger costume from a live show and just put that head on Thor's body. <laughs> that would be phenomenal. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty great. It'd be pretty good. Although, uh, there is one thing that you said that I think might be wrong. What's that? Did you say Chris Hemsworth or did you Tom, say Tom Hiddleston? That's, that's Loki. That's Loki. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they're Loki, brothers. Loki. Well, they're related. Yeah, they are. They are related in real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'd, I'd like to say <laughs> welcome to Cryptopedia, an exploration of the myths and legends that haunt the human mind. Each week we'll take you on a journey exploring the mis- 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 <laughs> I can't talk. You're uh, doing a good job. We talk about monsters and stuff. 
Uh, yes, that's you have you have fallen prey to my trap. Yeah, <laughs> my trap of not having a real opening and just uh, saying it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this week, um, I happen to have my my uh, next three copies written up I st- beforehand. I don't know how you did that. It like, was. I, Listen, I, f- I literally finished a project and didn't have something to do, so then I wrote three copies. Well, well, so here's the thing, right? Like, I had time yesterday, and I was trying to write more copies. Yeah. But I was just like, I, I have no idea where to go next. I need to have an – I have to have to do an episode so I have an idea of where I want to take this yeah. wild ride. Oh, man. Um, oh, um, yeah. two things – I'm John. I'm Brandon. That's that's the important thing. Yeah. yeah I, uh, I, and then <laughs> I literally have it written so we don't forget. Yeah, like, I think we forgot. Did we forget that to, to introduce ourselves? It? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay. Good. Uh, good. Uh, good, good, um, good. 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 Um, the other thing we should probably say. Oh shit! Yeah, because we're like, whoop, ten minutes. Ten in. minutes in. Yeah. So, three, two, one. There we go. I'll just remember that when I, because I'll be like, man, I could I'll have hit an M. We synced. <laughs> I, I marked, I marked okay. the sync location on my. Dope. Uh, so this one I chose. I posted a a, a poll in the Facebook mm-hmm. group, and, and I ruined the poll. And you ruined the poll, and then mm-hmm. everyone else in the group ruined the poll because you voted for everything. Then other yep. pe- an even amount of other people voted for everything differently. So it's a completely even distribution across I was all honest- topics. Honestly, I saw that last night, and yeah. I was like, I'm very, very happy with this outcome. <laughs> uh, because so, yeah. cause for, for those of you who don't know, back when the show – back in December of the first year that we were working on the show, John said, hey, let me vote – let me set – let me make a Patreon poll. And everyone, what do you think is the thing you want us to do next? So I put a bunch of things that we could have done on our time off that we had because both Brandon and I are uh, obligate workers who <laughs> save all of our vacation time for the end of the year. Yeah. Um, and then Brandon voted for literally every option in the poll. Yeah. The So luckily... we didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, luckily this time, um, uh, there is a tiebreaker. And that is Who's... Clay Sinclair, because he ha- he's a jackalope, therefore his votes weigh more heavily than other people's. I mean, that's one way you can put it, but I feel like I feel like that's uh, some animal farm territory where some animals are more equal than others. Yeah. <laughs> Clay, cl- like, our jackalopes are more equal than, than other listeners. And he voted for the modern foreign uh, uh, category. So... That means today's creature first appeared in 2001. It resides in... A space odyssey? A space odyssey, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It uh, it resides in India. It's humanoid or ape-like in appearance and is no longer seen today. Do you have any guesses on what it could be? And I'm going to tell you right now, you're wrong. There's no way you're getting this one. It's Danny DeVito. (laughs) You know... You're actually not far off from uh, Danny I'm at very, all. I'm very happy that I'm not far off from it, Danny DeVito. Yeah, today. You know, you know, yeah. back back when you were in uh, that movie. Yeah. That like, what was it? It was like a Lifetime original movie, wasn't it? No, it was, it was, like uh, it was Vera Farmiga's. Um, it was oh, her okay, okay. Produ- producer directing debut or whatever. Oh, um, okay, okay. Yeah, that. So just as a heads up, that is as in a movie with. Vera Farmiga, um, Thaisa, uh, her sister, who uh, stars American Horror Story, and Boyd Holbrook, who just starred in Predator. And uh, yeah. I talk about weird animals on the internet. So I think we all know which one of us came out on top. Yeah. <laughs> I think we know that. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it's pretty clear who won. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so as far as Danny well, DeVito's... The, cons- the, yeah. the other thing, too, is... Uh, they don't talk to me on a regular basis, so by my true. definition, they automatically yeah. lose. That's true. <laughs> or do you lose? I'm not really sure. The, the jury's still out on that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so so you're not far off with Danny DeVito, because today we're going to talk about the Monkey Man of New Delhi. I love it. Yeah. Let me just say, uh, 
I am also known sometimes as the monkey man of Highland, New York. That is true. <laughs> There's... That's recent. I was That's at the recent. McDonald's and they were talking about you. It was weird. Yeah, I, I got to stop throwing poop at people, though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, the cops let me off with, that, with a warning yeah. last time, but man, if I do it again, I'm going to I'm going to do shit. Oh, shit. Okay. So, uh, uh, tangent. This is uh, on top of the other tangents. Um, they mm-hmm. sell straight up Big Mac sauce at just Hannaford next to like the mayonnaise and the ketchup and stuff. So I got that and the grill. Yeah, I, I saw that too. Yeah. You've, you, had a, you had a journey uh, on the Friday night of... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of, of memorial day weekend yeah. friday eve yeah that and i got all the yard work done uh i always do the hedges on my neighbor's side better than i do on my side because i'm just a good neighbor and i hate yard work but the neighborhood i live in is like the 1950s like all the houses are the same and all the yards are like the same size and all that mm-hmm. it, but also for some reason everyone starts grilling at the exact same time so i was just doing yard work and it smelled fantastic it was great that's kind of interesting because usually grilling – so usually I view grilling as starting on Memorial Day. Well, people – you don't, it, you you can just sort of do it for yourself when you're hungry. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a celebration, celebratory eh. type of thing. I think grilling has to be celebratory, There's, but, you know, well, I got it their own. Because I don't want to cook um, meat in the house because whenever I cook try to cook like a steak or a burger or something, the house just smells like beef like tallow for for two days and i it's the worst i can't stand it so i got something so i can cook meat outdoors and not stink up the house fair enough yeah so on wednesday may 13th in delhi india police began to get calls about a strange creature shortly after several attacks on people in east delhi uh upon people sleeping on their roofs or in the open uh in order to rest out of the stuffy heat during the summer uh, because there were mandatory power cuts to save electricity, so like oh, no okay, AC, okay. no fans, no nothing. So you'd sleep I, I was just curious outdoors. for a second. Then. Yeah, so they've they've mandatory. Uh, it's not weird uh, for for them to just have mandatory um, off hours um, for ele- mm-hmm. electricity. And uh, so between four a.m. and noon, uh, attacks were reported by twenty people. Even bite marks and deep scratches were seen. Doctors responding to the incidents confirmed that the bite marks were definitely not those of a human. Okay. I mean, we're talking about Delhi, so there's like yeah. a billion and one things that could be giving bite marks. I'm just going to say that. It's just I'm Danny DeVito on bath salts. <laughs> He's running around. Nah. Nah. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the joint commissioner of police, Suresh Roy, told Routers, uh, which is like a news uh, organization that we have I, consult- I thought it was Reuters. Reut- I, I've always, Reuters. I've heard it Reuters. Okay, I've only ever read it, so I'm not sure. Um, That's true. I've only ever read it as well. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he said that we've consulted doctors about the bites, and uh, they said they were those of some animal. The witness described uh, a creature that was bipedal and about the size of a man, about four feet tall. Covered with hair and with glowing eyes. It I mean, appear- I'm not, I'm not seeing anything that discounts Danny DeVito as the. Creature. This is, this is just a hundred percent Danny DeVito. Because, like, like here's the fact of the matter. Uh, Danny DeVito, like, I think, how tall is Danny DeVito? That's actually a pretty important question. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's find out. How tall is Danny DeVito? Okay, I was a little off. Four ten, about four feet. That fits on about four yeah. feet tall. I mean, he'd be um, a tall. It- He'd be a tall four feet, but he'd yeah. be four feet. Yeah. Um, he is covered with hair because we've seen him mostly naked. Yes. And uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia on multiple occasions, I should add. Yeah. Um, and glowing eyes. That's just his glasses catching eye shine. Yeah. Danny DeVito does his, – his eyes do reflect eye shine. It's uh, mm-hmm. pretty weird. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's also apparently pretty stealthy and quick. And has large claws that some described as if being made from metal and could leap from rooftop to rooftop. Some call him Kalabandar or Black Monkey Man. It also might be a spring heel Jack situation. It could be a spring heel Jack situation. Was he breathing fire and did he murder anyone? Uh, he did not breathe fire. Okay. Well, the fact that you didn't said he didn't murder anyone makes this even more interesting to me. Yeah. So continue. <laughs> yeah. 
so my first my my initial thoughts is that it's just a monkey or a guy um mm-hmm. kind of spooking people but the response uh the following response from a police official uh puts that to rest he said that okay. the creature had its hands uh on my thighs when i woke up it looked like a langer which is a type of monkey said Eunice, mm-hmm. who lives in the suburb of krishna nagar uh, last night, when Rihanna, my mother, picked up a broom stick and it jumped off the balcony. Um, if the being is a man, he is a short one, about four feet tall. He does not act like a monkey. Real monkeys have, of course, uh, jumped on pedestrians and invaded homes, but have not attacked in the manner of the entity reported in Delhi. So I just want to say, yeah. like, I know that I'm in an area where monkeys are not wild in a hammock. Yeah. That's such a wild thought to Right, because it's so exotic to me. But then again, you go to them and say, "Yeah, deer just jump out in front of me while I'm driving in like suicide on the car." Yeah, that's like true. as a right, like a, as like a almost a matter of fact in a point to order. They will it do that. It doesn't even have to be moving. Do you no. have run into just parked cars? <laughs> yeah, like when I think about when I rephrase it as the fact that like. Oh, we have strange ass animals too. Yeah, it, it's a little less like bizarre and exotic. Mm-hmm. Although it's bizarre and exotic to me. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, although having constituents in India, um, have little knowledge of the day to day of this specific area, as they're located much farther south near uh, Bangalore, uh, relative to New Delhi. Um. So the the culture and lifestyle lifestyle I expect differs vastly in that area. Um, so I'm inclined to take this individual's word uh, on it. Wait, constituents? You have constituents? They? Hey, man, I was on a roll. This was the third in the stream of three uh, copies that I wrote. <laughs> but you. Wait, I, you have component... Okay, I, I'm making sure I understand the definition oh. of constituent before... <laughs> it's, uh, let, let me, uh, let me fix this. It's... Oh, it won't let me... Uh, imagine, replace that with co-workers and you've got, a. <laughs> you've got yourself a... <laughs> got it. Okay, okay. I have co-workers in India as well. I have co-workers from India and probably two of the closer some of the closer co-workers that i have are from india they're pretty cool people yeah there's it's just that mine are from like way south um oh, relative mine, to delhi so so they I, haven't I, I haven't heard anything about this but i think it, mine are actually from delhi okay I, i'm not sure though yeah. uh mainly and that's not because i don't care about people that's literally i forget where people are from on the reg I don't this even is... know where people who like th- that sit next to me were like are from. Like, yeah, th- no, that's no, just no. Something I don't ask people. <laughs> I, I just like ninety nine percent of my coworkers. I don't, I don't know where they're from. <laughs> yeah, I mean that. That's that's honestly the fact of the matter is, and I regularly forget where people are from. Yeah, and and people will tell me stories, and I'll just nod my head and be like, "Yeah, I remember you telling me this." The yeah. the, far, the facts that make this make sense. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll just go along for the ride. I'm too socially anxious <laughs> to even consider the idea of asking you. What do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah. So what ends up happening is I just get farther and farther down that rabbit hole. You just get too like, deep. Yeah. You get too yeah. deep. It's kind of like that. Uh, the most recent episode of the Doll at the time of recording. Yeah. Where there's just the the manservant. Oh yeah. It's like, dude, we've been traveling for how long together? <laughs> it's, they need all the rafts. Yeah. I, I don't think the dude was being... I, I Okay, I think the dude was definitely being racist in that case. Um, the uh, Yeah, the Scottish guy with manservants that he just sort of let die? Yeah. Yeah, I think he was explicitly being racist, uh, but... You know, I could also see a modern person not being racist, just being super duper anxious because mm-hmm. they didn't catch what someone's name was. And then, you know, someone else interrupted them and then they didn't get a chance to say, hey, what's yeah. your name, by the way? Oh, and then I, they're just like best friends. I'm bad at people. Like, basically, the first time I meet anyone, there's the exchange of names and I immediately 
forget. Like, be, give it five minutes and it's out the window, right? Because if I'm meeting you for the first time, I don't know what the odds are that I'll ever interact with someone again. So I, 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 you know, and I'm pretty open about it. I don't care what your name is. It's, what is it like? It's I'll, I'll say hi and exchange names because that's what you know you do in a social situation. Yeah. But if it's the my first time meeting anyone, it, it's I'm not going to commit the energy into remembering it. It'll probably be like three or four times before I remember what someone's name is. What is it like? It's like as Nazmia is like the ability to not see some unrecognizable oh, like face. face blindness. It's not face yeah. blindness. I'll remember. I'll be like, oh, I. I met so this is the person whose name I I don't know that I met at this time and this day doing this thing. Well, here's the yeah. thing. I have like almost perfect recall of someone's face. If I've seen someone before, I'll yeah. know what their face is. I could have worked next to them, worked with them for years. Yeah. I could have gone to their house and I just don't remember their name for the goddamn life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I could be friends with this human. Yeah. And I don't know their name. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. yeah. The uh, So early on, there were two deaths. Two men sleeping on the roofs were suddenly wakened, and in the panic of trying to escape the monkey man, the pair had fallen from the rooftops. That's a, that's a fun way to go. Yeah. No, I, I, it's not. Yeah. It's not great. I mean, I wonder how tall the roofs were. Like, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I I'm think assuming it's, multi-tier. it's probably two stories. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm at, least two it's stories. at least two stories. Right, because they're one of the most populous places, so I imagine that most yeah. of the buildings have several stories. Yeah, um, I think that's a fair assumption. Yeah. Uh, we contacted Delhi Zoo authorities, and experts say that no simian would ever attack without provocation, says Suresh Roy, Delhi's joint police commissioner. Uh, we have conducted med- medical examinations on the victims, and nothing concrete has been found. Now, hmm. here's the point where where um, this is amazing. Stuff's gonna get pretty good, uh, and then and then bad, and then good again. Uh, uh, the police had a sketch artist render the creature based on witness descriptions and had its image distributed. Uh, I find them to look less of a police sketch and more like a cell from like the funny section in the, in the newspaper. <laughs> I'm going to say that the guy on the right reminds me of, you know, the, you know, the music video for take on me. Yeah. 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 You know how, you know how, when the video starts, they kind of burst through a door and they have the helmets on. With the oh yeah. Pipe. Yeah. That's what that dude, that's what that yeah. monkey looks like. <laughs> right. Like I'm, I'm starting to expect the, like the entire, like my, my screen to turn into the sketchy bit. Yeah. From uh, take on me. And like, <laughs> he's going to, he's going to put his hand out and he's going to beckon at me with like monkey hands. Yeah. And I'm be like, no, 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 no. And then he's going to leap out at me and just rip my face off. <laughs> oh, man. Also. Uh, yeah. Monkeys explicitly like attack without provocation. That's a thing. Yeah. Like well, that so chimpanzee that's, video. That's, I'm sure it's like super rare, right? That cause because that's the, what we hear about. I'm sure that yeah. that's the exception. Um, no. Yeah. But it don't, I mean, it only takes one exception for it to be an explanation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but at the same time, I do just also a caution. Machine. I do caution that because like at, on the other hand, then that's used as like the ex- the explanation for like vaccines cause autism. The... It, it's 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 one of those things that goes yeah. both ways, mm. which always makes me. <laughs> <laughs> when you're trying to to like suss out the truth of something, you're afraid yeah. to use certain arguments. Mm. But the people who you're who are not trying to suss out the truth will make the exact same argument the opposite way, and it's like, oh yeah, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Early on May 15th at 2.30 a.m., a pregnant woman in East Delhi fell down some stairs after being woken by shouts of neighbors that the monkey had arrived. She died in a hospital later the same night. Um, well, so there's a lot. So I think this that this cryptid has the highest uh, kill count death so far. Count, kill yeah. count of any, any cryptid that we've ever dealt with. Yeah. Uh, that same night... Uh, uh, Tuesday, uh, I'm reading bad stuff. Basically, that same day, police received 13 distress calls from the new uh, uh, humans per area. So this thing, right, we had started with 20 calls. Now we've got 13 on a different day. Like, this is actually, like, spreading. 
I mean, yeah, but I, I think I'll, I'll hold my judgment, but I, I will say this, uh, like mob panic is a thing and yeah. rumor is a thing. So mm-hmm. that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Con- continue. We'll, we'll, we'll get closer as we get closer to the end. I'll, I'll lay down my, my your, actual your theories. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as of May 17th, police in Delhi had taken more than 40, perhaps uh, up to 65 uh, calls uh, reporting on the uh, depredations of this alleged monkey man since May 13th uh, from many different sections of the city. Suresh Roy, okay. right, same guy uh, throughout, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, spoke with ABC News about how seriously the resultant injuries uh, had been taken. Police have been posted on rooftops and in areas uh kept well lit from dusk to dawn despite the routine power cuts and border checks have been instituted at the city's point of entry public meetings have also been organized uh what is more is that the delhi police have been told to shoot the monkey man on site that's kind of wild but like i also get it because it's a public health issue yeah like Mm -hmm. we're dealing with at least three deaths four if you count you know um We're, we're 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 dealing with a, yeah. a large number of deaths, and all in of those a so far very are, short span. It's panic of people trying to escape the monkey man. So this yeah. is actually good action. Having the police presence there will hopefully yeah. cause people to panic less and not run off of uh, yeah things. Well, because that's that's the core problem. It's not the monkey man itself. It's the fear of the monkey man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That that's the best uh, Blue Oyster Cult song is <laughs> fear fear the monkey man. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be Don't Fear the Monkey Man? Oh, yeah, Don't Fear the uh, Monkey Man. Yeah, sorry. (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) There goes New Delhi. It's Monkey Man. (laughs) As the number of attacks by the Monkey Man grew, so did the number of witnesses and the broader the description of the creature. By now, the Monkey Man did have metal claws, and he also wore a helmet. Nice. He he also sported a tight-fitting suit as well as roller skates or shoes with springs in the soles, robot legs, and he had a button on his chest that would give him powers such as strength or invisibility when pressed. Uh, the what? Guardian compared it to spring Heel Jack. What? Yeah. So shit's so, getting wild. So it's turning into an anime, is what you're telling it, me. It is, and there's also, so, uh, like... Um, uh, uh, the, he he was in a few movies after this, and th- that's worth uh, looking up. <laughs> are, are you serious? Yeah, they oh. made like Monkey Man movies. This is this is so like this is practically. This is practically if Sun Wukong from the Journey to the West stuff. Yeah, was given Doraemon powers. Yeah, like like Doraemon gadgets and such uh-huh. like that. <laughs> and I'm just imagining it, and it's 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 pretty great. Yeah, I I. <laughs> like, I'm I'm half expecting wild. this. I'm I'm half <laughs> expecting this to be a uh, uh, what, what's the name of the guy who made Dragon Ball Toriyawa or whatever? Yeah. Uh, I'm having expecting this to be one of his manga. <laughs> <laughs> like I I I'm envisioning um Toriyama. Mm-hmm. I, I'm envisioning this being uh him saying okay well the last time i tried to do journey to the west didn't work out it turned into like just multiple episode fights yeah between really muscular dudes and <laughs> ladies and all that stuff let mm-hmm. me try again this time i'll use an actual monkey man yeah and uh i'll give him dr slump-esque superpowers because <laughs> yeah. that's what i'm that's what i'm hearing now yeah, and I'm I'm imagining the uh, the girl from Doctor Slump mm-hmm. um, as being the person who, uh, who like like it's in that style, like yeah, original Dragon Ball style, very <laughs> very bubbly and all that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and that makes me happy, even though there's three people dead as a result of this. Yeah, um, a resident of Noida uh, said that the creature was as small as a cat and had bit her fingers, and two of her husband's teeth were knocked out by a metallic hand. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> man, the size of this creature is just, like, vacillating It's all rapidly. over. Right, so now we're, it's, it's definitely 
real and somewhere between a cat and a human. It yep. is either covered in black fur, fur or wears a suit. It definitely has a helmet and glowing eyes. It mm-hmm. either wears roller skates or shoes with springs in them and uh, it has robot legs. Also, it has three buttons on its chest, and each one grants it a different ability. So it could press, like, the strength button, or it could press the invisibility button, or it could press... I forget what the third one is. But... So it's, it's definitely a robot, is what that means. Yeah. We're dealing with a robot. We're dealing with a robot monkey man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, a she... robo-monkey man. Robo-monkey man. She uh, continued saying that, more specifically, it snuck into their room at night, was bouncing off the walls and screaming after forcefully removing her spouse's teeth. It ran through a hole in the wall. Sounds like a child. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one Delhi resident spoke that how it was a monkey until it turned into a cat when it was grabbed. Um, uh, it, one criminal uh, took advantage of the situation, and he wore a mask so that witnesses would think uh, that he was just uh, the monkey man. So, so <laughs> guys started wearing a mask so he could try to, like, do stuff. I hope he was short, though. Yeah, like I, I, I mean, I, I imagine like there's like a short robber, right? And he's like, man, other people have taken advantage of like situations, and yeah. they've leveraged it for their own gain, yada yada yada. Yeah. One of these days, I want to be able to do that, but I'm I'm four feet tall. <laughs> no one's gonna believe that. Uh huh. Then, as he's doing that, TV turns on, reports <laughs> of the Monkey Man in the New Delhi area. And he's like, it's happening. <laughs> so he then he then goes, buys a monkey mask, and is like, it's time. <laughs> and then I'm assuming he gets mauled by the monkey man. Oh, like the actual that'd be great. One. Like he that, comes out of nowhere? Yeah. Like oh. he, he succeeds like once or twice. And then, yeah. then like this is where the – so I'm imagining this is like a uh, – a, a, uh, what's the word? Uh in you know you know like like UHF where it's, it's oh, a yeah. combination of short short form yeah, yeah. uh movies yeah Anthology. it would be like a short form yeah it would be like an anthology episode so yeah. it would it would open with that and you know it would start that out and then third third job he's running start it, it would like actually focus on it wouldn't be like a montage mm-hmm. and it would just be him like trying to break into a house and you yeah. hear something scuttling on the rooftop <laughs> scuttling right? scuttling because the monkey man scuttles that's yeah. important right if he doesn't scuttle this this this, this, this doesn't work right so he's 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 working he's yeah very delicately trying to open the thing which you know it's weird because he's not playing the monkey man role properly but mm-hmm. whatever um and then uh he breaks into the house but here's the thing yeah all the all the people in the house mm-hmm. all their teeth have been removed already oh all of them they're just like gumming at him, like flapping. Oh man, right? Yeah. And then, then he's like, like human centipede. Yeah. So, he, the 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 dude in the monkey man thing, he's freaking out, right? Like yeah. He's wearing the mask. He's like, what the fuck is going on? He turns, monkey man's there. Right. Yeah. Monkey man's there. So monkey man's there, and he's like, uh, Timothy, because I don't I, yeah. I don't want to come up with a random. Indian name right now and be like yeah. super bad. Uh Timothy, you've let me down. He then force feeds him all the teeth and he turns into another monkey man. I, yeah. I don't know. I lost he I force lost the feeds plot. him all the teeth. Yeah. I, I lost the plot on that. I lost oh, the plot man. on that. Yeah. But the the long story short is he becomes the next actual monkey man. Yeah. Um, or he dies. I don't know. Whichever. Yeah. <laughs> a uh, a thirty five year old shopkeeper named Anim uh, Keshri, thought that it was a remote-controlled computerized creature, since how else could it leap four stories and disappear? Uh, oh, I, I love people who, like... Well, obviously, it's this impossible thing, because how other how else yeah. would it do this impossible thing? Their, uh, I, my very next line is, it would seem there were few scruples to go around. <laughs> you, you got it. <laughs> there. Uh... Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, before continuing, I'd like to bring your attention to a funny guy. Uh, there was okay. a doctor who got arrested on May 19th after having scared his neighbors by throwing uh, an inflative uh, surgical glove uh, that had been smeared with uh, brown dye, like, as a prank to, like, scare them into thinking the monkey man was there. 
the, it, it contributes a little, like, very little to the episode, but gave me a chuckle that uh, a doctor played a prank. But then they arrested uh, him, so so that's that's something. I mean, he is he is kind of like playing into the exact problem that's happening. Because yeah. the real problem isn't the real problem isn't the monkey man. The problem is the fear surrounding the yeah. monkey man. And, that, and he's making that worse. Yeah. That's the problem. Oh yeah. The uh it, it, and that it's really at that point that um this is the the point in the copy cuz stuff does escalate where I believe that the uh the mass psychogenic hysteria begins. Um, well, cuz up to so this point it was just brewing. Uh, so that's kind of wild to me that you think that that's the case because like if it was me, I'd be like, this is mass hysteria already, right? Yeah. So uh, as somebody who's read these types of stories before and has some interest in it, and I have, of course, I haven't read this particular one, mm -hmm. that makes me worried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really concerned, especially considering the fact that I read one, literally one word ahead, and now yeah. I'm extremely worried for this man's safety. Yeah. So there is a four foot tall wandering Hindu mystic named Jameer who was beaten up by residents of a nearby suburb uh, near Noida uh, before being handed over to the police. So they just beat up a guy because he looked kind of like the description is so broad at this point that just any individual who doesn't fully conform to how everyone is, else is like dressed could be the monkey man and therefore is being publicly attacked in groups. Man, I wonder what would happen if Shaq walked up at this point. Like, oh, would they attack him? They would think he's the king of the monkey men. I mean, he's tall. Yeah, he's a right? big dude. He's tall. He's a big old boy. And That's Dr. Shaq, too, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, wait, here's a question, though. Yeah? Shaq and Yao Ming show up at the same time. Yes. Who becomes the monkey king? Because they're both giant dudes. I think Yao Ming's bigger. Is he? I, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I think Yao Ming's bigger. Okay, so then I guess Yao Ming's the king of the monkeys then. By, like, I think he's, like, a head taller than him. Here's the other thing. Yao Ming um, was a Shaq fan and, like, mailed him when he was, like, a boy. Like, mailed him a letter and, like, Shaq re replied and, like, sort of, like, inspired him to start um, basketball. So they're actually, like, good buddies because they, they, uh... Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's, uh... I... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yao Ming's definitely. Yao Ming's like a full head taller than Shaq. Really? Yeah. That's horrifying to me. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Like. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you know, here's the thing. I'm not yeah. into into basketball. Yeah. I fucking love Shaq. That dude's such yeah. a nice guy. Oh yeah. I I think I honestly think so. I think it would have been really funny if. They for the Aladdin movie instead of going with Will Smith, they had gone with Shaq. It would probably have been awesome. Um, although that being said, have you seen the trailer for the Aladdin movie yet? Uh, I saw. Is there a new one? I saw one at some point in time, and it was terrifying. Yeah, but if you watch the one that's before Detective Pikachu, it's actually yeah. not as terrifying as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, so there was a van driver in Delhi who was set upon and given multiple fractures in the early a.m. hours of May 18th by people who thought him to be the monkey man. So now I guess the monkey man can also drive vehicles. So, so like like I said, literally anyone could show up. Yao Ming, Shaq, me. Yeah. And they would probably beat the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, while in one place, uh, police found a monkey, and at another place, uh, people had trapped a dog mistaking it for the monkey man. Uh, but said, what? <laughs> said Joint Commissioner of Police Ahmad Kent. <laughs> so they're just but, like calling police on just normal monkeys and like on dogs now. Listen, there's a monkey. Yeah, you're at the zoo. I know, but there's a monkey here. Yeah. The uh, Kaylin, uh, I'm not going to attempt the last name. Uh, the Deputy Commissioner of Assam noted that uh, noted the feeling uh, of panic. What uh, I'm bad at reading. He thinks it's. Uh, can you read that paragraph? My mouth isn't working. Okay, uh, <laughs> Kalyan Chakravarti. I think that's what Sh it is. you know. What uh, I think you actually did good. Uh, the deputy commissioner in Assam noted that 
noted the feeling of the panic of the Delhi Monkey Man stories. The Indian Express newspaper reported that villagers in the Nalbari district have, like their Delhi counterparts, organized watch groups. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was hard. Really, the whole point of that was just that they're individuals forming groups. I yeah, should have so, so, just said that. <laughs> that works, too. I mean, you wanted to, you wanted to cite your source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, 3,000 extra men in Delhi were assigned by uh... the police. Uh, as of May 21st, to track down the Monkey Man. Police also offer a reward of 50,000 rupees, uh, equal to about uh, just over $1,000 in the U.S., uh, for the creature's capture. This is three times the number of National Guard troops that were sent to the U.S.-Mexico border in February. Ah, (laughs) fixing my typos. (laughs) So That's a lot of people. They are amping it up. Uh, youths armed with axes and sticks started patrolling the streets and right-wing Hindu activists have taken up strategic positions with swords and scimitars. Okay. Yep. So, so that's about right. I mean, it seems like, it seems, it seems as though it's getting turned up to 11. I was going to make a joke. I'm going to let that joke. (laughs) (laughs) Like it's, it is like it is gone out of hand at this point a senior police official um, no it seems it's this seems like a rational metered response to a monkey man yeah oh yeah with robot legs with robot legs yeah yeah so he's basically uh roadie from the roads from the um uh marvel cinematic universe yeah oh yeah and i say that because he literally has robot legs <laughs> nothing else <laughs> Oh, maybe he's like um who else has robot legs? Uh Oh, the the cat the, the rabbit from Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, right okay. Yeah. yeah. The one that has like a shug and speaks with a southern accent. Yeah. Original character do not steal. <laughs> uh a senior police officer uh quoted the Daily Pioneer uh on May 16th that the whole drama was carefully uh enacted by the antisocial elements who wanted to test the nerves of the Delhi police. I'll they believe blamed, that. Yeah. They blamed this alleged sabotage on Pakistan's inter-services intelligence, for whom the mischief mongers were reportedly causing the terror. So I, I could see, I don't know if that's how that, how it started, but I could see if like a bordering country, like sort of seizing the opportunity, you know, taking advantage of a situation. If they, you know, at least attempting to try to turn up the volume on something a little bit. That happens all the time. Yeah. Um, he continued saying that it, uh, it seems probable that the elements of the mace-equipped Hindu monkey god of legend, Hanuman, uh, may have found their way into the public's conceptions because of this monkey's elements, with his mace being related to the metal claw of the alleged monkey man and other contributing factors, including uh, sleeping outdoors, heat, darkness, crowding, and fearfulness, which combine to increase the panic. This is pretty much a perfect storm. Yeah, no, it is perfect. Like this couldn't. This isn't a good thing that happened, but everything yeah. sort of lined up perfect and fell into place. Yeah, this is this is very much a situation where like everything like was there. Like, yeah, like it's like it's like you you set out the ingredients for everyone losing their collective shit. Oh yeah, and said, okay, guys, here they are. Now don't don't make a riot with this. Yeah, don't. All you have to do is just put them in one bowl. Don't make a riot. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Stop it. I see you looking at those ingredients. Here's a bowl. Don't put those ingredients in the bowl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> why are you uh, why are you losing your shit? What's going on? Like, I told yeah. you not to do the thing. <laughs> uh let's see. So Nermal Gosh um uh, on May twenty third. Normal, like from Garfield, uh, from the Straits Times, writes about how the Monkey Man appeared to be a combination of what frightens people. Its eyes were red and glowed. It could alter its shape. It was strong and agile, and it could see in darkness. It was a mixture of beast, criminal, and supernatural being. And yeah. things were out of control for those who thought they saw it because their uh, of their conditions in poverty. Uh, this only increased their anxieties. I'm honestly not surprised that, like, yeah, everything that they just said is is totally yeah yeah is totally within reason. 
Oh, yeah. By May 23rd, there have been 324 police complaints that had been received in Delhi, uh, of which 260 were discovered to be hoaxes. Uh, By that time, officers considered the monkey man to be a man, not any other creature. I think that's probably a fair assumption. Yeah, and I I assume that the larger police presence was due to them thinking it wasn't just a man, but a bunch of other people who sort of took advantage of the opportunity that's presented to them. I mean, when you're dealing in situations like that, when there's mass rioting, practically, right? Yeah. Like, I I mean, it's not, based on what you're telling me, it hasn't fully escalated to, like, uh, some of the riots that we've seen in America uh, over the years. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. But it it does seem as though it's getting to that point. Yeah. And there's enough confusion happening that people are definitely going to leverage it. Like the guy from the the anthology film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Timothy, uh, I think I suppose his name. Yeah. Yeah. And really, that's it. It just sort of got real big and then stopped. There's no recurrence. There's um, it was just a one off mass event. Um, and there are, again, they did, it did spawn characters in, in movies and stuff like that, uh, came from it. It was just a major thing in 2001 that for some reason I didn't, uh, was not aware of before. But, yeah, I've uh, never heard of that before either. Yeah. It was, uh, but it was super interesting because I was like, they, they, it includes thousands of people over a very large area, all seeing a creature over the course of several days. So which, it's, it's interesting. Which let's be real. So yeah. to me... To me, due to this, the sheer number of people who had eyes on this, yeah, and the fact that they never caught anything despite the, level, the level of like presence, yeah, makes me think that the initial event was just some dude just like spooking someone, and yeah. the guy was trying to save face. Mm-hmm. Like I think that's honestly what happened. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because there's that. That's the the number of times that something like that has happened mm-hmm. in my lifetime. <laughs> with people I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> I, I could totally believe yeah. that. Um, I did find this pretty interesting because um, I'd heard of this type of mass hysteria, um, but d- didn't think it happened outside of, like, political influence or anything from, like, the Middle Ages. So I, I, hey. I didn't think it was anything that, that would happen now. So I did it's a... Something like ergot. Yeah a little uh, minor poking about to look at some more recent, albeit less significant cases um, Mm -hmm. that just might be interesting. Um, So there was an Emirates flight 203 in 2018 where 106 of the 500 passengers on a 14 hour flight uh, reported symptoms, including coughing, sneezing, femur and vomiting. And the pilot notified uh, airport ground staff and uh, the uh, CDC and they quarantined uh, everyone, and um, the, it, it's dubbed the flight from hell. It was it, no one had anything. It was a few, like eleven people had like a cold. Yeah, well, I mean, let's be real. Some people are real babies about having the cold. Yeah, but it's like just real babies. A fifth of the entire plane was just all convinced that they were like extremely ill, and they like quarantined people. <laughs> Listen, I've I've been con- Yeah. If you're about to vomit, that's mm-hmm. the worst experience. So like th- this may not be this may not be here nor there, but yeah. I will say this, like even mundane things, the yeah. second that you feel like yeah. uh oh my god, I'm about to die, mm-hmm. even if it's nothing, yeah. It's it's hard to come back from that, especially if multiple people are in an enclosed environment and they're like Oh God! What does that person have that they're like feeling that they're about to die? Do I have it? Yeah. Well, I just sniffled. That means I have it, and then it escalates. <laughs> yeah. And then psychosomatic symptoms take take effect. Oh yeah. Yeah. In uh, in 2011, 2012 ish, there were 12 uh, high school girls all developed Tourette's like symptoms. Their school was tested for toxins, and uh, all other factors uh, were ruled out. Um, some of the girls and their parents gained national media attention. In January January of 2012, several more students and a 36-year-old adult female came forward with similar symptoms. Um, They were all diagnosed with conversion disorder, which is just a different way of saying hysteria. So, um, that's actually kind of interesting that you mentioned conversion disorder. Mm -hmm. uh, Because 
the way that my my personal anxiety manifests, which of course everyone loves to hear about other people's uh, mental issue, mental health issues. Yeah. On a podcast that's not about mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, so the way my my particular anxiety manifests is through conversion uh-huh. uh, disorders, where my anxiety will actually manifest as psychosomatic symptoms. Yeah. Like headaches, uh, nausea, uh, loss of vision, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and it's actually not fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, and you know, but different people have different yeah. things, but like, I got a nosebleed it, from it once. Yeah. It's not yeah. great. It's really <laughs> it's not, not great. great. <laughs> like, and you know, I think, I think a lot of people who have more extreme anxiety do yeah. suffer from that form of conversion because mm-hmm. it, I mean, it's, it's a model of thinking where, uh, the idea is, in your brain an anxious thought or some thought will be deemed uh dangerous yeah so what happens is your your brain tries to like suppress that thought but when you have enough when you have enough things being suppressed those the it's like it's kind of like a log jam like the cue is is too backed up so it will come out in a different way Mm -hmm. and your body will express that and you know it it could be anything Mm -hmm. um of course, that being said, it's it's really a model of thinking, I think, is the more important thing. Because um, there's different ways of looking at different mental... You know, I, I'm going to just stop talking about it because this is like... <laughs> this is like basically what a year of therapy has been doing for me. Uh, in Afghanistan, 2009, um, a spate of apparent poisonings at a girls' school... Uh, had become reported with symptoms including dizziness, fainting, and vomiting. The United Nations World Health Organization and NATO's International Security Assistance Force carried out investigations of the incidents over multiple years, but never found any evidence of toxins or poisonings uh, in the hundreds of blood and urine samples that were tested. Uh, The conclusion of the investigators was that the girls were also suffering from a mass psychogenic illness. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, that's also still super pot like like th- th- those kind of things like think about um so it's not an illness but remember when star wars got like super popular in middle school and everyone yeah. had a lightsaber to the point that it got banned yeah yeah so um, it's great yeah that's why uh, lightsabers are now in, our, in the student handbook <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> i still i still actually carry a lightsaber in my car I have a lightsaber right here. Ha-ha! He's got a Kylo. He's got a Kylo Ren lightsaber. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, the cat poker, though, right? Yeah, it's for cats because they're for some reason they're afraid of it. So if they uh, start doing stuff they shouldn't do, all I have to do is l- literally just hold it like 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 and just hold it like this, and they just bolt out of the room. Very good. Like just that... just the sight of Kylo Ren's lightsaber makes them stop chewing on wires. <laughs> it's. Honestly, that's that's living the dream in my opinion. Oh yeah. <laughs> um I will say this though, my yeah. favorite so the way that it for people who are not familiar with Star Wars lightsaber toys. Yeah. First of all, let me introduce you to a whole new world. They're pretty good and they've they're gotten pretty better. They're pretty awesome. They've gotten way better. So, uh the best the best lightsabers, I have to say, Mm-hmm. are the ones that have the Mace Windu style grip, right? Okay. Because you can get yeah. a Mace Windu style grip. You can get uh, Anakin Skywalker style grips. There's multiple styles of grip, right? Yeah. My favorite were the Mace Windu styles. And I think mm-hmm. it's Mace Windu, but I could be wrong. Yeah. I, I only say that because mine had a purple blade, which can be like multiple colors. Yeah. Um, because all it has is like a, uh, a molded grip. Mm-hmm. That doesn't add any sharp pointy bits to it. It's yeah. just basically a flat tube. Yeah. And that that may not sound like it's important, but when you're when you're winging a lightsaber at someone else, oh, it's connect, all about that comfort. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right? Because you can't have there. There's like even Luke's there. Like there's these weird protrusions. So like you, there's not really a good way to fully comfortably hold it and wield it. I, I don't understand Luke Skywalker's uh, lightsaber grip style at all. Like yeah. that dude, he he must have been a masochist, of some yeah. kind. because <laughs> like, or I mean, I guess the lightsabers are light, so they're basically like the lightest thing ever. But yeah. whatever. 
Um, still, some problems. Come on, Luke. Yeah. The uh, the other thing that I really liked was uh, I liked having two lightsabers. Now. Oh yeah. Here's the thing. You don't hold both lightsabers like a regular lightsaber, right? One of them you hold normal. The other one upside down. Yeah. <laughs> this is key. This is key, right? Yeah. Because in a lightsaber fight, what are you doing if you're bringing a shield to a lightsaber fight? You're an idiot, right? You're going to be laughed <laughs> off the court. Everyone's going to reject you, look down on you. You're terrible. You got two lightsabers. Now you're channeling Anakin Skywalker before he killed all the young ones. Oh yeah, right. Do they spoiler make spoiler alert? So from do they make so when spoiler alerts ahead when uh, they were fighting Snoke um, and the people had like the staff type of lightsabers? Oh, do they make I, those toys? Uh, I don't think they make them, but. There is always lightsaber builders. Okay. So like like the one that you have, if you look yeah. at the bottom of it, yeah. There's like a little there's like a channel that lets you lock it into something else. Yeah. So what you can do is you can take a piece that can channel into that and then you can mm-hmm. make like wild uh okay. wild lightsabers. I got let me you. see if I can let me let me see if I can find the system. I don't know if it still exists. Yeah. Um, I could probably just but... make one. Yeah, I mean it, it's called Blade Builders. Let me give you the Google. The Google. <laughs> this is amazing content. Yeah, we we always do the best content. I mean, we always save the best content for last. So. Oh yeah. I mean, okay, look at, at the, that. Yeah. So yeah. there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch. This my favorite is the one that's basically like a fist. Yeah. That like <laughs> it's like a brass knuckle of lightsabers. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> it doesn't feel practical. This one's real great though. The one that's like a gun. Uh right here. That one. That one's pretty great. I don't get it. Why? But it, it's pretty good. Why? I wonder if this... I can buy any like one second. I'm not going to buy one because I I I have to reduce the things that I own. Yeah. Um But uh yeah. So it might have actually been. Wait, was it Mace Windu's? It might have been Yoda's lightsaber that I was talking about. Man, okay. this is great content. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I think it's time for us to end before I start talking about lightsabers even more. <laughs> um, as always, if you're interested in our content, we have. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, was there anything else you want to say about mass? I, I, uh, my, mass psychogenic. No, yeah. Not really. Okay. Mass psychogenic hysteria. No, not 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 really. We covered everything. I saw the Monkey Man was crazy. <laughs> Monkey Man is crazy. Um, I still am not convinced that it's a. Oh, what was I going to? I was going to say something before. Man, this is a great podcast. Anywho, uh, so <laughs> our website is cryptopediacast.com. Instagram is at cryptopediacast. Uh, if you want to email us, it's cryptopediacast at gmail.com or us at cryptopediacast.com. All these, of course, are on the Cryptopediacast website, which is included in the show notes. Um, we have a Patreon, which I believe we linked in the show notes. I, I had to look. I always forget what we put there. Um, but we have multiple tiers. Mm-hmm. We have uh, Hoop Snake, Hodag, and Jackalope. Uh, we recently, for, for, for Jackalopes, you get a, a shout out like once a month ish. Pretty much, pretty much whenever I try to, whenever I remember it. Yeah. Or Brandon remembers <laughs> it. We ha- one of us has to remember it. Yeah, uh, but we we try to go for about a month. Um, so this time we're going to be thanking Clay Sinclair, our most. I think you have the most consecutive months of support for us. So I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's hitting cool almost dude. half a year. Play, plays think... Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Uh, decided to choose this podcast. Uh, this the Monkey Man one. Yeah. Yeah. He was the one responsible for this episode. Yeah, so uh, if it wasn't good, blame Clay. Yeah, it's all Clay's <laughs> fault. Uh, <laughs> no, we're joking. Uh, and then, of course, Marty Mon Party. Marty Mon Party. The best name ever. Yeah, man. He's uh, Mar- Martin of Party. Yes. Uh, also, we have a Discord. Uh-oh. Now. 
Oh, um, man. We're not. Duh, looks like our we're... connection hung up, Brandon. so I'm just going to keep. Oh, and we're back. We Are go. we back? Okay. All right, we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was, I was, I was saying, uh, we have a Discord now. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, we've been playing around with that a little bit. I want to put bots in it, but it won't let me put bots in it because we only have well, four people in it. Um, <laughs> if you join the Discord and you're a patron, you get a special little little uh, color to your name. Um, we have multiple channels. We have, uh, let's see, we have discussion for the Jackalopes. We've got some episode discussions. Uh, we got some patron shout-out stuff in there, Cryptids games, and the Welcome channel, all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, so if you, you enjoy the podcast, you want to do the Discord thing, uh, we'll come up with something to invite people. Uh, maybe yeah. add us on Twitter or message in the Facebook group, which we're about to talk about both of those, I guess. Yep, um, um, that's also when we do uh, streaming, um, where you could probably find us uh, uh, chitting and chatting. Yeah. I, I've also noticed that there is a stream button in Discord, but I, I don't know what that does. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, we also have the Facebook group, as I mentioned before. Uh, Facebook has been doing some problematic stuff, but yeah. I guess I guess we're just going to keep using it just to be like an outreach thing so you guys can keep aware. But... I, I mean, our, our Twitters are definitely, our Twitter handles are definitely going to be the best place to watch going forward. Uh, the Facebook group's just there so we can post stuff without people seeing what we're posting. Like, you can post yeah. stuff without without other people seeing. Um, if you enjoy the podcast, which, bravo on you. This was yeah. a wild one. <laughs> I mean, I talked about, I talked about fucking lightsabers for five minutes. Um <laughs> Uh, you can rate, review, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, uh, if you have any monster requests or stories, be sure to send them. Uh, last week's episode was a monster was a request, and next week's episode was a request as well. Ooh. Um, you can find me on Instagram at donkey underscore hands. My website is boyerb.com. My email is brandon at cryptopediacast.com, and my Twitter is at cryptobrandon. I'm Mew2057 on Instagram. JF Dunham on Twitter. My website is John Dunham Games. So I think if you just type slash John at the end of Cryptopedia, it'll take you there. Mm-hmm. It's hosted on the Cryptopedia Cast site, whatever. Um, if you want to email me, John at CryptopediaCast.com. And that's all I got to say on that. Yep. Our art was done by Tom Hill. You could find him on Instagram at Thomas Michael Hill. His website is greatergloryco.com and his email is at tommikehill at gmail.com. And if you don't feel like remembering any of that, just go to cryptopediacast.com and scroll to the bottom because we've got all that listed there, man. Yeah. Um, as always, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And things are long since gone past the point of being. Things are ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they've kind of gone a little bit. Uh, we took a left turn. Somewhere yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. That, that... I don't know what happened. I, I completely lost the rail after the monkey man left. <laughs> like i derailed so far and far between i mean i did keep on target for the monkey man yeah. but once we got off the monkey man yeah. oh boy <laughs> it's literally just like when i don't have something to do yeah <laughs> that was a pretty good one though ah oh, you know yeah. what i forgot to mention mad gasser Mutui. the mad gasser oh is he similar to the mad gasser i don't so here's the thing i know that was on your list so i intentionally yeah. have avoided doing any looking at it no that's uh, fair that's fair yeah. i i just i i was gonna mention it because it's definitely an episode i want to do yeah because like i'm aware that there's stuff about the mad gasser and stuff about spring Hill jack but i've intentionally just like avoided those because there's like you know i've different thing i go to different places doing you know searching for for yeah. uh episode topic ideas so whenever those come up i just skip them go right yeah. over them spring Hill jack is definitely its own episode Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh God, I I don't know what oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't know what my <laughs> It's always the first episode that I'm just like completely I completely lose it at some point.